I'm going to show you how to add buttons or links where people can pay for a donation or they could maybe pay for a product or a service with a free code snippet. But let me show you what it does. And I'm going to show you the code snippet. I've got multiple versions on it because I just want to show you multiple ways to do this. Over here, we have a button or a link. If I click that, it's going to open this window and say, do you want to pay flickimp at gmail.com? But I can add in the values. So if I want to go and pay them that amount of money, I can hit continue and it will now pay them. And the description is donation for test. I know rubbish name, but I just want to show you how this works. The second one is exactly the same, except there's a bit of a difference in the styling. So I want to show you that as well. Let's now go to this one here. So the first one said, pop in whatever value you want. I click this one and it now pops in $50. Because I've now said, when you click that link, I want you to pay me $50. So the first one was open. You pop in whatever value you want. This one, you must pay $50 for whatever service I'm giving you. But look at this one over here. So whereas that one there was a specified amount, here you get to pick what you want. So if you want to go for 50, click it and then click make a donation or buy a service or purchase whatever you're selling because it might be that you're selling quantities of things or you might say go for 150. You click make a donation and it's now going to send that. You hit next and then it will take you through the motions. So how did I do this? Well, these are all short codes. The first one just has donate. The second one has donate currency GBP. You will find that sometimes based on your location, it sometimes defaults to what is your standard currency anyway, unless you specify. So if I go here, I know that whenever you click, it's always going to go to GBP, British pounds. But maybe I want it to specifically go to US dollars. So I would change that to be USD. If we go over here, it says currency USD. So look at the first one, currency GBP. The second one is currency USD and amount 50. So if I change that to be 5,000, when you click it, it's now going to say you need to pay $5,000. If we go over to this one, it's exactly the same, except the difference is rather than it saying amount equals 50, it now says options equals 50, 100 or 150. So if I was to go and change that to be 1,500 or any value I want, you can see it growing there. And here's the code snippet you need to use. The link for this will be in the video description. Let me now go through the changes you need to make. Obviously, make sure you're using the Code Snippets plugin, which is the most amazing Code Snippet plugin you can get for free. Go and give it a title after you've said add a new snippet. And I've given you some instructions here to help you out. So I've got uh, four different short codes that I've put on the page. I've got donate, donate currency GBP, USD with 50, and then USD with options. And I'm just reminding you over here as to what they do. So here's the things you need to change. And it's so simple, it's going to blow your mind, okay? The first one is what email address do you want them to go to? So if you're setting this up for yourself or your client, you go and pop in an email address for your PayPal account over there. I've also said the default currency is GBP. However, you can overwrite that. So when you pop the short code in, if you then go and pop in um, a different currency like Indian rupees, it will pop that in there. Over here, it says make a donation. So this is the name that will be returned over here. So if you want to have something completely different and we're going to change that, make a payment and I hit save changes, my page now says make a payment when I pop the short code in. And the last few things you might want to take account of is over here, it says donation for. So when you are paying, it then says, what is this going to be for? Let me remind you again. And I hit make a payment. It says donation for test because this page is actually called test. So you could modify that if you want. So if your page was called a uh, bag, silver bag, it would then say donation for silver bag. But you can change the content of that over here. And then the final thing is the name of the short code. So it's called donate. And you can see what I've done over here in this example. We've got donate. We've got donate currency and then we had the other options now very quickly i just want to show you the styling because this the first one is very different to the second and third if you go to the advanced tab and you scroll down to custom css you can see that i have said make the color be black the weight be 600 you know and the font size be 20. If you want to make it bigger you can do like that and if we go down to the final one, again, if you go to the advanced tab and go to custom CSS, you can see the styling that I've gone and popped in for the color. Let's go and change that to be FF0 and we'll make the font be white. 
so that you can make some modifications to the styling of the buttons and I'll make sure I pop these in the video description as well. Isn't that a really cool way of adding in payment options or donation options to your WordPress page? And this doesn't have to be just with Elemental. You can use this with any page builder that you want, but you need to use the code snippet that you can get for free. I'm Imran Web Squadron. I hope you like, subscribe, share, and follow. I'll see you soon.